Hi, I'm John Chang. I'm with the Unity Analytics team out of San Francisco. Like you see, um, I'm incredibly honored to be here in front of you. Um, as he mentioned, we too were also in the audience uh, a couple years ago before we joined Unity. And I think what that means is while uh, it doesn't guarantee you a job, being here today is a, a good first start. What I'd love to do is actually show you a couple exciting new features uh, that Analytics is going to be coming out with in the very near future. However, before we get started, we'd love to show an exclusive look, a little sneak peek of Unity's own analytics. And what you're seeing here behind me is the actual real-time view that Unity has into the downloads of games built on Unity. Each and every second of every day, over 250 per second are downloaded. By the end of the day, there'll be over 20, 22 million games. This will be across 200 countries, 40 different genres, 21 different platforms. It's truly an incredible feat. And to be clear, this is all due to the hard work, the passion, the creativity that you here in the audience have put forth. And I think that deserves a huge round of applause. No other way to say it, but you're truly in great company. And also, to give you a sense for what these numbers mean from an aggregate perspective, last month alone, there were over a million developers who were active on Unity. Those million developers drove games that were downloaded over 750 million times. And just this year alone, those games touched over a billion devices. What that says is Unity is not just a vibrant and growing community, but it's one of the most important development communities in the world. What this also means is that Unity has the opportunity to use this footprint to build some pretty cool features that are going to be a competitive advantage for you that nobody else is going to have access to. Right? And so at Analytics, what we're doing is building a couple features on top of the core analytics platform that we launched in March. And today, I'd like to show you two of those. The first is what we're calling device intelligence. And this is leveraging the power of that footprint to help you make hardware optimization decisions. What you see here is a view into exactly what the macro environment looks like for game developers. Fragmentation obviously is a huge issue in mobile. Deciding which OSs to support, deciding what hardware specs to optimize for, there's truly been a lack of data up until now. Previously, we've heard people use Google searches, they use static reports, anecdotal evidence from their friends to make key decisions as to which platforms, how you're going to support them, at what, at what level of sophistication you're going to deploy. In fact, one of the major developers that we work with when we talk to uh, some of our plans here told us a story about how they were planning on entering China. And when they weren't able to find any data about China, what they did was actually send people to retail stores in Beijing and Shanghai and ask them, what devices are you selling? What they came back was, there were about five devices that sounds like people are selling. Well, what you can do with this product is actually click into China and see that those five devices actually only accounted for about 10% of the market. And in fact, if you actually wanted to get critical mass, you needed to support over 45 different devices across seven different manufacturers, which some of them aren't really prevalent anywhere else. Right? And also, how do you understand what the environment's going to look like in six months from now when your game comes out? You know, the ability to predict and understand what those trends are or what we want to provide you with this tool. To even dive in further, 
understanding the specific hardware specs of a device, or cutting the market up by geography, by genre, so that you get the most relevant data for your specific game in a way that nobody else has access to. Basically, the days of sending parts of your team to China on a field trip are over. With device intelligence, this will be the first in a series of benchmarking tools that will take advantage of the massive Unity footprint to really unlock intelligence that will help drive more effective development decisions. Now, the second product that I want to introduce around analytics takes more of an inside or introspective look at your data. And what this feature is being called is Unity heat maps. So as you may be familiar with, what heat maps are are visualization of event frequency. That's just a fancy way of saying the more an event happens, the more intense of a color that you'll see. And today, what I'd love to do is give you a sneak peek of what that is going to look like within the editor. What you're seeing here is the actual data generated by players as they play your game. Blue is, is where the players have gone. Yellow are high traffic areas. And red is actually where players are actually dying. So what you can start to understand here is where is the action actual actually happening? Who is dying and where? What roads are most traveled? You can actually even see it within gameplay mode itself. And as many of you know, one key tweak within a level can be the difference between a existing game, a, a nice to play game versus a game that's incredibly successful. So both device intelligence and heat maps are going to be built on this core analytics platform that I mentioned previously. This core analytics provides device tracking, engagement, custom events. Thousands are using it already. And I'd love to tell you the story of one. So Ultra Team, um, who you might have heard of, is a five-man studio out of Paris. Uh, their first game was a beautiful puzzle game that had 99 different levels. Fun to play, engaging, but they had a real issue with retention. And what's happened when was players were quitting too early and they couldn't understand why. They were brand new to analytics, but they implemented Unity Analytics and started to see results almost immediately. The feature that they used was the funnel analyzer. And what you can see here is every bar represents a conversion rate or a completion from the level before it. So what they did is they looked at this graph and looked for steep drop-offs and pinpointed exactly the specific levels that they needed to tweak. They were even able to look at this funnel just for new players within our dashboard. And by tweaking those levels, they could see how it affected the behavior of those new players and how they actually responded once changes were made to the game. And responded they did. Across the board, the number of sessions that players played increased. It ultimately drove the user base from just hundreds of users to actually millions. Several tweaks to the game made a huge difference. And using analytics, they knew where to focus. So ultimately, making analytics available to all Unity developers is what we see as our core mission. The team has spent a lot of time thinking about this, really understanding that there are huge trade-offs between development resources and the actual time to implement analytics. So the next, the, the final feature uh, that I'd like to talk about is something I'm most excited about. And what it is, is the native integration of analytics into the Unity engine. So let's take a look at what this means to the developer. Just by copying and pasting your development ID into your project settings, you can get access to analytics on a scale that you haven't seen before. You can immediately validate your integration and get your dashboard live and running within a couple hours of processing. We're calling this native integration. It's available today in 
And really, there's no reason why any game built on Unity shouldn't be able to ship with the ability to measure performance and the tools and suite of analytics around it to optimize your performance. So we encourage you to come check out analytics. It's currently in beta and free to the user. But if you sign up today, you'll be grandfathered in to the entire suite of products.